Welcome home, sisters. What I love about the sisters is how they've welcomed us here and um, how much they love us and uh, we're part of the family. It's a family. I time. want to tell you how much I have enjoyed working What I love most about the Sisters of Divine Providence is that um, regardless of the vast difference in experience and wisdom and education, they embrace and love me. I'm as thankful people. that you all gave me the opportunity and that you all hired me to work here and I love it. I love this job. And I've known a lot of the sisters and it touches my heart the way they share their love with a lot of them. In anybody that they see, you see this beautiful smile that they have. Um, but all of them are very special. All of them are very important to me and that's why whenever you come into my office or whenever I see any of them, I call them my sisters because yes, you're my um, sisters. You all have been a blessing to me. I've been here 35 years and that is a very long time. Um, and I'd like to thank each and every one of you for everything that you all do Your for unconditional us. love, your humanity, the sacrifices, contributions, and accomplishments you've made and continue to make for our world to be a better place and grace you are all blessed. Here at Moyer Retreat Center, um, I, do, I felt the overall spirituality in here and it just, it's not overwhelming, it's a, it's a pleasant to thank you all for all your support. Um, as you, most of you know, my mother died March 1st, and you, and then three weeks later, my granddaughter had emergency brain surgery, and you all have just been more than wonderful. You've helped me get through it. You've helped my family get through it. Your love, your consolation, your support. I can't tell you how much it meant then and how much it continues to mean. And we felt your prayers and your love, and I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for that. To be happy, there yes. be happy, oh, yeah. smile. smile. Don't worry, Sister Joanne. Be happy. <laughs> I've been fortunate for 38 years to work for a wonderful group of women, to work for you, to work with you. Um, I haven't been here as long as Kathy has, 38 years, but I have been here four years. And during those four years, I've really been appreciative of the way that you've um, supported me and all the different things that I've done. Um, I'm very thankful to be a part of your family. Hi sisters, I'm Dana. I work in the kitchen at Moy and wherever else is needed. I love working for y'all because it's such a family, faith-based environment and has brought me closer to God. I got away and I love cooking and I'm so glad that I've had this opportunity. Some of y'all might know me from your retreat. Those of you that didn't, I'll uh, hopefully meet you soon. Merry Christmas, the way they yes. celebrate. I love the way they celebrate Christmas. Now their parties and get together, everything. They make it more meaningful, I guess. That's what it is. Hi, sisters. It's Mandy. Um, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for hiring me um, and allowing me into your home and um, for supporting me and um, everything that I do. To further your I'm Eloisa McNally. I've been working here for eight years. Okay. And every time I come, it's my pleasure to help. Hi, you. sisters. I just wanted to take this time to tell y'all how much I appreciate working here and all the friendships that I've developed over the years. November will be 24 years that I've been here, and I love working here with y'all. The support and the kindness that I receive. When anything happens in the family, is just, it's wonderful. This job is so different from any job I've ever had before because um, here they actually care for you as the person, and that is a uh, unique setting for me. Um, you know, they actually worry about, uh, about you and your family, and they pray for you, and just the spirituality and that family, it, it carries over into the staff. I just want to say that uh, it has been a real pleasure working for the sisters. Um, kind of came to the job by accident, as some of you know, but it's been the best 17 years of, of ministry and employment. And the God has blessed us totally, sisters, and I'm here because I really do love my job, or I guess I won't be here that many years. <laughs> Thank you again. It's bless Providence. You. When something goes well or something happens to work out, it's simply perfect. I love to be here with them and help them. My name is Mary Bryant and I've been here seven months. My name is Angela Hernandez and I've been here 34 um, years. The sisters teach me 
They teach me about a lot of things. They're peaceful. They're loving. Um, they're kind. They're smart. And they teach me about what's really important because we have a lot of distractions in life and they bring it back down to the basic love. The love and support that we've been getting from these sisters since day one that I started working here. It's uh, like coming back, like this is my second home away from home. It just makes us, it just makes us feel good. These women of Divine Providence are strong, independent, faithful, spiritual, kind and loving. Um, they know how to be joyful and to be humble. And that's why I love the CDPs. I love the way they pray for employees and are concerned about our well-being and our family members. Oh, I love uh, just the family atmosphere because it's, uh, they take care of us. They have uh, always been there for us, prayed for us, and helped us to learn more and to accept more. Everything is, especially with the sisters, because you can have a conversation with them and they really don't like pinpoint one thing, like for, for example, the religion. They focus on what really is in your life, you know, and then uh, what you like, what you don't like, and they try to help you out as much as they can, you know. And they make you feel like you're one of the family, which we are, you know. I like working here, I like working for them. They're, it's totally different. Than what I did Real faith-filled women that I can relate to and turn to, and I have most of my life. Uh, the other thing I thought I'd mention, as you know, my mother uh, started hospice in San Antonio, and again, I, I kind of indirectly go back to Sister Bernice, because had Sister Bernice not inspired the love of the sciences in my mother, she might not have ever been a doctor, and she might not have ever dedicated her life to caring for the dying, and taking care of people under to work in one place. I love working here for the Sisters of Divine Providence. They're too sweet. They're funnies. <laughs> um, I have a good time with them. And it's true. They make us happy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or they even awesome. remember your name. That's so. They do. That's nice. And I yes. remember theirs. Mm -hmm. That's I nice for them. Like we actually work for um, have loving hearts and caring hands and uh, that means more than any financial gain to me that you can ever uh, get at a, a facility or a position that you may I have. have. Learned so much from them. I didn't know that I had the charism or spirituality of Providence until I came to work. For what the has resonated across the years um, has been just Providence and abandonment to providence and relying on God and I really think that that to me gives me so much hope not just for myself but for the entire world um, for my family and friends that if we just rely on God that he will provide for everything that I need. find myself using that term all the time that that was providence or that's providential and I use that at home and my kids now use that term and my husband now uses that term and we kind of all chuckle when we use it because I never really um, understood the full meaning of providence and all the time when something kind of just falls into place we'll say it's providential words right. <laughs> My okay, now let me be serious. You hush. Okay. Want to tell that story? <laughs> I think the funniest thing that I can recount is one year we were sitting up for employee appreciation. There were several of us in the room. I won't say who, but we were dancing and having a good time and just really acting crazy and come to find out we were on the camera and being broadcast in the sisters' rooms the whole time we were uh, doing our dances. Can you? Sometimes they made me cry. Sometimes they make me laugh, sometimes they make me mad, but I'm happy with them. <laughs> Down at Felton helping with um, some arts and crafts and I burned my finger with the hot glue gun and Sister Genevieve says, without, I mean I love her wit, she said, if you're looking for sympathy, look in the dictionary. And that made me laugh so hard that I forgot about my pain in my, in my fingers. I was surprised yeah. how many sisters I drank beer and I'm at home here. <laughs> I do too, but some of them I can't share. So. <laughs> um, but probably the funniest story that I have, or it's a cute story, um, is a year ago when the sisters were here on doing their 
um, annual silent retreat. Of course, it was playoffs with the, you know, the Spurs were playing in the playoffs before. Because they're on silent, you know, they can't keep up with the games. So it was, it was dinner time, a game was on, and everybody, of course, was anxious about it. But Sister Virginia Huser, huge Spurs fan, and everybody knows it, she calls me over to her table. She says, Michelle, Michelle, come here. And I just thought she, she needed something. So I went over there and I said, yes, sister, what can I do for you? She's like, can you please, please, please go find out what the score is? At our employee appreciation luncheon, Glenda Moody was announcing what the prizes were. One employee got a certificate for a one night stay at the Hilton. It was very noisy with applause. So sister Kathy asked me what the prize was. I leaned in and told her what I heard, and she promptly turned to the other folks at the table and said, it's a one night stand at the Hilton. The whole table broke out in laughter. One day I just pulled the tray and I put it in the big machine and one glass jumped out. And oh boy, I was so scared. I didn't know what was gonna happen or what was gonna happen. And I was like, oh, and there comes Sister Miriam Francis. Who broke that glass? Cause you know, when it chatters, everybody can hear. And she said, who broke that glass? And I said, like, I did, sister. She goes, okay, you know, next time, if you break another glass, it'll come out of your pay. <laughs> I got so scared and I said, like, never again will I break a glass. I was making sure that I passed that tray very <laughs> slow, sister. My first week working here, I was really good about bringing my lunch. And um, I went down to South, South Dining Hall to put my lunch in the fridge. There was a bag in the way, so I found it really easy to grab it. And when I did, it attached to a piece of the refrigerator, and the bag ripped open, and out fell a six pack of Miller Lite. And I was so freaked out because I thought, okay, what is a six pack of Miller Lite doing in the fridge? So I grabbed it up real quick, and I put it back in the bag, and I took it to Minerva, and I told her, I'm so sorry, I was putting my lunch in the fridge, and this bag fell out, and it's a six pack of Miller Lite. And she just looked at me and she said, oh, don't worry about it, that just belongs to sister. And I just thought, oh wow, okay, yeah, I'm really going to enjoy working here. <laughs> uh, Sister Miriam Fidelis, every time I go to McCullough Hall, she will stop me and do this to me. And I'll get really close to her, and she'll tell me, I'm praying for you. And I'll tell her, oh, thank you so much, Sister. And she says, you're not married yet, are you? And I'll tell her, no. And she says, well, it's not too late to become a sister. I am proud to say <laughs> that my senior prom date was Sister Marianne Helsher. A group of us went um, to Magic Time Machine back in 1981 and we spent the whole evening with her there and showed up to our prom about 1130 to say hello to everybody. Why don't we sleep all, we sleep all day? Very special sister, all of you are special. They're all extra special to me, so I will tell you about the first CDP sister I met. My daughter Carly was in a terrible car crash and she was still healing physically and emotionally. I met Sister Antoinette when Carly was applying to attend Providence Catholic School. After the interview, when Carly was accepted to attend, Sister Antoinette gave Carly a big hug and said, you are one of us. Her love and support for my daughter gave us peace. Words can never express my gratitude to each and every one of you. May God bless you all and keep you. Sister Martha Rose. And why is we that? We get along real well, especially out in the yard and we're working together in the plants. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I uh, love doing whatever y'all ask oh, me well, to. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, I can, I can uh, name it. You know, I have so many, you know, happy moments with them. My very instructor. I feel a lot of love with her. With her. And That's the special. Special <laughs> sisters. Sister Charlene, Sister Joyce, Sister Marlene, my neighbor, Sister Diane Heinrich, Sister Jane Ann Slater, uh, Sister Pearl Caesar, Sister Christine, um, Sister Jane Marie. Sister Miriam Fidelis, Sister Romaine. Sister Genevieve, because she's really hilarious. Sister Isabel, she's uh, another one who really should have been a comedian. <laughs> Sister Martha Rose, she never takes a bad picture, and I just love her to pieces. Sister Frances Lorraine, Sister Misty, Sister Kate, Sister Bernice Trotta, uh, Sister Bernice Eit. Have I named enough sisters? Well, I'm just going to say they're all special. Sister Elsa Garcia is by far the best dance partner I have ever, ever had. Redempta, Sister Redempta. So she's a sweetie. And she's we, very, very sweet. sweet. I got to let you go. My favorite sister was Sister Redempta. She's no longer with us, but she was, she was like a, a friend, a mentor, or somebody I can 
always asked for advice and always had a smile for me. So Mr. Mildred taught me KISS. Keep it simple, sister. And I don't have an extra special CDP, but um, I hope I bring them as much joy as they bring to extra me. Extra special, sister. Gosh, that would be hard to say because they're all special. I love them for each for their unique gifts and talents and personalities that so they Sister have. So Sister Bernice and the CDPs have played a huge role in that history as well, as far as I'm concerned. And my mother, up until she died, always, always talked about Sister Bernice and the CDPs as being wonderful, wonderful role models for her as she was educated. Special. All of them are special, of course. Uh, but the one I think I connect with a little bit better is with Sister Bern Besner. Uh, I don't think I could ever tell Sister Bern Besner how appreciative I am of her being there that night uh, when Johnny left left us and took his trip to heaven. But uh, to have somebody with shoulders like hers there uh, really made it a lot more comforting. And uh, I don't know, uh, she'll just never know how appreciative I, I am. I love all of them. Okay. I love all the sisters here. We sleep all day, sleep all, we sleep all day. God damn it, it's a blessing. Like, this is my home sister, and I'm very welcome with you all. And I appreciate that you all, you know, all of you are welcoming us like every day in our life. And it's different from the outside world. This is my second home. So happy to work here with such a great group of women um, that continually teach me something every day. Because I've been blessed here. I appreciate 38 years ago you all giving me a job and allowing me to come into your home and work for you. I can't promise you all that I'm going to give you another 38 years, but I'll give you what I can. How about that? And it has been such a blessing for me, especially with all the illnesses and um, with my family. And, you know, the prayers are so comforting. And um, recently my son was in the hospital and had was facing a second surgery and I mean I got emails from the sisters saying that they were thinking about me and and that meant more to me than anything. The way they make you uh, feel like part of the family when someone's ill and your family they get real concerned always ready for prayers um, they just make you feel like part of part of it. And it feels good when they tell you that you did a good yeah. job you know yeah, because we miss you. A lot of times you, you, you do it for them, you know, mm -hmm. so they can appreciate it. There's, there's one quote that uh, was Sister Bernice talked to on her 104th birthday that I really loved, and that's when she said, thank you, thank you, thank you. Learn how to love and respect one another, and y'all encourage one another, and in that y'all encourage us. And knowing everything that they've been through, they still have a beautiful smile, and with a hug, or just a smile, you can feel it from their heart. Well, every day when I come and go and say hi, and, and they so happy to see me, and I'm happy to see them. They're sweet, all of them, they're all the same. They're like my mother, I feel like they're my mother. I just have, have enjoyed it so much, and learned so much from these women, because you are all amazing women. Um, funny, smart, um, faithful, just really has been a, a, a great learning and growing experience for me to be part of and work side by side with these people. Oh, I learned so many things, especially to be patient. You know, this is the first um, uh, job in this field, and I feel like I've been learning so many things. I've never felt so content at a workplace, and the love that they um, that they offer just just with a, even a smile is is what motivates. I me. learn something every day. I do everything with love, kindness, compassion, and charity. That I, that I love him so much. Um, I can never express my gratitude for all of the prayers and um, just all of the care and concern that each of you show every day. I just like I like both of them. To me, I, I find it. Like I've, I'm more at home here than I'm at my house. Oh, I can say I, I thank you and I love you with all my heart. Uh, I enjoy working here with the sisters because they make it more welcoming here.
and they're very, uh, it's a very spiritual place and uh, they make me feel right at home and I enjoy it. And every day I just love being here more and more. I'm very grateful for everything that I have experienced and learned here in the past seven years and I'm hopeful that I will be able to experience many more things <laughs> with each of you for another seven years. It is an honor and it's a blessing and it is sacred to be here working with the sisters. I love okay. my job and it, wherever I can help I Hello will. sisters, it's me again. Here I am in someone else's video. <laughs> That's the only way she would do it. She's an attention but hog. I did forget one thing I wanted to say. My memory is getting bad. I wanted to wish all of the sisters the celebrating Jubilee this year a happy Jubilee. My name's Tina Cullen. I've been here going on two weeks. <laughs> yeah, two weeks now. Um, one thing I could say is that Sister Mary Florence did make a strong impression on me before I even got started. Um, she was w one of the residents that um, she spoke to me both times I came in to interview and then I want to say within my first week she came to my office and asked me if she could give me a hug. And that was just, that made a very strong, welcoming impression on me. And I love so. working for the sisters. I enjoy being what with them. What I like them. about here is that it's calm, nobody, you know, and they, um, part of my faith, you know, part of my Catholic too. So. It is a joy to work here. Um, it's a blessing. I have so much care and love for all the sisters and most especially for the mission for everything that they do i'd just um, like to give thanks to the sisters uh, for supporting me here as far as um, when i'm needing information about uh, you know how it works here the first year for me the first six months for me were kind of a little hard because i was getting used to the family oriented at atmosphere and um Again, I just want to give thanks to all the sisters who have helped me out throughout the two years that I've been here. It's a, it's a double blessing. They're wonderful, They're wonderful women, and um, I, couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better job um, just to work with them and be with them and be welcomed into their home and share in their mission and everything that they do. Providence has a plan for me, whether I recognize it or not. Okay. We sleep all day, we sleep all, we sleep all day. And I just do want to say thank you very much. Um, and I appreciate all the support and the prayers that y'all have given me during the time when I was going to test. Hello, sisters. <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> I forgot something. We love you. Yes, we love you. Thank you. Go Spurs, go. Go he go. <laughs> thank you. I'm here for you. Thank you, sisters, for all that you've done for all of us. We lo I love you. Thank, thank you. And um, you have touched my life and my family's life more than you'll ever know. And I've, you know, I feel like I've become a better person um, because of my job here. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for hiring me and letting me stay here as long as I have. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all very much. I enjoyed it. What was I say to them? I would say thank you. Thank you for showing your love. Thank you for being dedicated. Thank you for letting God be in your lives and use y'all to touch everyone and just see the sisters. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sisters, and I appreciate everything you do for us. Everything that you do for us, and it's a pleasure to work for you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to all the sisters. Thank okay. you for accepting us into your home, and thank you for giving us all the love you have given us through all these sisters, years. Sisters, I thank you from the bottom of my heart um, for allowing me to become part of your family. I would like to say thank you to the sisters. For as many years I have worked here and um, give me a chance to provide for my family and then... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you for a great 17 years and I'm looking forward to the next Thank you years. sisters for all the time I've been here. You know, and I'm, I'm going to keep you in my heart. Thank you sisters. I love y'all. In the words of Sister Barney's tractor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it still recording? I go like this, it means cut. <laughs>
should go on and make a mountain out of 